Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Alright everybody, welcome to WWE 2K24, my GM mode here on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Uh, we are on week 17 of season 2 here. We are... Uh, Four weeks away, three weeks away, sorry, three weeks away from Survivor Series, which is our fourth PLE, which actually surprised me that they're using Survivor Series as the fourth one, but I, I digress. Uh, last week when we were here, oh boy, did we have some shocking things go on here. Uh, we hired on Argus the Great to uh, help feud with Channing Stacks Lorenzo and... Uh, a Carmelo Hayes, and he turns around wins the Intercontinental Championship. All right, let me get a bottle. We'll take it. Tables match. Set everything up right. Um, yeah. Main event. Uh, we had, uh, yeah, a pretty big upset. Gunter gets uh, upset by Trent. So right now we have a jobber as well what people would cl classify as a jobber as our WWE champion who defeated uh, Gunther in one of the biggest upsets in the world, I think. But we're going to get that to a level four. We're going to get that feud blown off. We could end up having Trent and Argus for the main event of WrestleMania at this point if things work out. Oh, that would be interesting to say the least. Uh but yeah, I could talk about this all day. Let's get into this because we have a few stories we got to conclude here. So, rest your male tag champs this week. I really don't want to, but I think I can. Let's check out the rest of the journal. Told Valhalla she partnered with Pretty Ruthless in a tag match in the next three weeks. I think we're going to use her anyway this week. I know her. Uh, I know that her uh, XP is dying, but let's see if we can uh, clean that up. Ava is done this week. We were not going to use her anymore. And then 19, we got a bunch of contracts coming up. At the end of the pay-per-view, we got a contract coming up. Her stamina may be... Yeah, I know, but it will, if you put her in a normal tag, you might still be okay. She's the one who wanted the match, so... And also, I got that power card right now that the chance of injury goes down drastically. So let's see here. So this match, we got to throw through here because it's a level four steel cage match. Thousand fans resolves any rivalries. Granting additional thousand fans for level resolved. Only thing I might do is I might move it here instead. What we're also... What I want to see here, and I'm going to take a look at this in a sec. We'll do it normal for now. We'll take a look. But how is it 25? We should be okay. Team her up with Pretty Ruthless. My PLE is not for another three weeks yet. It's week 20. And what I'm going to do is stick her with the champs. And this is a perfect matchup for everyone here, so. For most of them. You know what? I might wait on this one more week. I might, uh, let's scrap this here. See if there's anybody else we can really work on. There's one match I really did want to work on. Our newly converted... Ilya Dragunov taking on Seth Rollins. It's specialist, specialist. That's the part that scares me a little bit here. So I might move that up to here. I'm going to... There was another one. Okay, we we're going to do. Uh, 
I'd like to do this, but the only one is a casket here left, so... What I might actually do is see if I have it. Do I have another female face that I could? And what I could do, I could do a rutted with Billy on Cora or Billy on JC. So that way I can uh, get that feud to a level four. Because that'll actually turn out to be a hell of a match regardless, right? So. And then this one here. So they don't want me to use either McDougal or You know what? We'll we'll get pretty ruthless her debut. We'll get her in here with Ivy now. We'll sort of try and get something going here uh, for Pretty Ruthless. Just get her a match in. Next week, we'll have that tag title match that I was mentioning before. This actually might turn out okay. Now, one of the things I want to do here, class change. So if I could change her to a bruiser, that's actually going to help me out in terms of setting things up here going on. So if I set her to a bruiser, the reason I want to do that is because Blair is a specialist as well. And feuds work better when you have somebody that's... Uh, if you have specialist versus specialist, it doesn't work out very well. That's why I'm a little worried about Dragonov and Rollins. We'll, we'll see how it goes. If that one gets me a rivalry but doesn't give me a good score again, we'll flip one of them if I can. Because I'm pretty sure I can. I'll take a look at a second here. Do I have any fives on bikes? The house got some decent popularity. I'd like to get her some work, but I'd also like to give her the week off. You know what we'll do? We'll do a tag team call out here. Because I need to get this feud up as high as I can. If I could get this feud up as high as possible, then we might be able to... Uh... I know Clint's contract's up, so I want to blow this off when I can here, but let's also go take a look here. I only got one asset left, so this is an odd factor. In terms of roster size, what could I do here? Rollins. So if I need to, I can turn Rollins into a bruiser instead of a specialist. And drag it off. Let's see what you got. Nothing yet. He's not at level 15 yet, so I can't change him anywhere. I wouldn't mind actually... Let's see if I got a card that could help out. Fifteen ring popularity. That actually might help you here right now. Let's see if there's anybody that's really close that I could use it on. 21, 16, 11, 13. Stacks, I could probably get them up to 15, but... Ava, I'm not going to waste anything on because she's gone this week. Scarlet's the only other one. Do I have two of these or just one? Just one.
I'm thinking do this on Ilya just so I could. He's already at 14. We're going to push him up to 15 here by the end of this match. I got a feeling. Oh. Welcome back. I'll just take that card back. Um, I got lots of money, so I'm not too worried about that part. I might go pick some stipulations different on the, on the main card here a little bit just to... No, that one might be okay just because of the rivalry there. I think we're good. Just having these two as normal matches. I want to get Becky as a bruiser. We'll get that call out so we get that level, rivalry level two. Hopefully we can get this to a level three. And then that's a run and I think we're good. Do we need to screw anybody around right now? Let's check the talent scouts here. Literally nobody. Penelope's been used a little bit, same with Sassy Molassi. Post Malone's available for 4,600. Let's pretend we didn't see that. Yeah, post Malone. Um, so, he's got five out of five bike skills. You know what? Just for the promos itself. Uh, 10 out of 100 popularity. Well, nobody likes him, right? For the end of the season, 7,200 bucks. How do you not take them? Like... But he is one of the DLC pack. Uh... I'll be honest with you. I forgot that I didn't download any of the DLC packs halfway through the season here. So that's why we're getting them now. But yeah, we'll pick up Post Malone for nothing. And he's a... He basically can face any heel we have. Let's take a look and see if we want to change anything. Why not? See if he can hit it. Let's see if we can hit a home run or something. Basically, they're telling me I can put literally anybody in there against them. This is amazing. Why not? Because I expect this match to be absolute garbage, all right? But we're going to have to see how this holds up. You know what? Let's just get to it. Because I know this is going to be fun. All right. All the world hates a coward, so let's go. So we have to check out everybody else's cards first because it's an odd number week. So the opening match for ECW is Julius Creed, who is their TV champion against the Honky Tonk Man, which is just as amazing. One, two, ring the bell. Julius Creed wins in a three-star match and a new rivalry. Let that one be. <laughs> Isla Dawn gets yourself over a little bit. Always appreciated. Jody... Garcia versus Indy Hartwell. This will get a boost because it's a women's match. Two-star match. Meh. Logan Paul. Tra oh, a trading promo. So he gets a ring XP. Okay. MVP, Sheamus, and Angel Garza. Okay. Angel Garza wins. Angel out for two weeks, so he's uh, he'll be back for the PLE, but nothing else. 
These guys are level four. They keep calling each other out. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Ronda Rousey and Piper Niven taking on Candice Slayer. I hate the boost that ECW gets. Candice LeRae out for the pay-per-view. That's... <sighs> That's gotta suck. That's gotta really suck. <laughs> Uh, I gotta love it. Uh, Carry across Booker T. Let's have this match 500 times. One, two, it's over. Hit the bell. Booker T with the win. It's already a four star rivalry, so they're not gonna break it there. Raquel does nothing for herself. Randy Orton and Andre Chase versus Elton Prince, one half of the tag champs, and Tim Ba. Orton and Chase, three-star match, always good. Horrible promo, but which I don't know Tiffy could actually do that. Uh, yeah, level one rivalry. Drew McIntyre and Omos versus Dewey Carter and Adrian Buck. AW was actually not bad. Ooh, three and a half star match there. That's not good. Level three rivalry. I'll, I'll get to the card in a sec here, Crowder. Uh, Paragon J. Pierce, and then Gargano and Atchik in an Iron Man match. One, two, ring the bell. Jerry Atchik beats. Beats. Jerry Atchik just beat Johnny Gargano. So they got their own story on that. <laughs> uh, yeah, Fletcher versus Tomohiro Ishii was absolutely amazeballs. Buddy Matthews and Commander was a lot of fun. Uh, Karo Shida won a four-way match to uh, take on take on uh, Mercedes Monet at the, at the pay-per-view. Thunder Rosa almost died because... She took a flat ladder while tucking her chin instead of letting her head go. And she almost styles clashed herself. Um, we had a couple six man tags. Uh, Bag Bag Gang got themselves over, over the premier athletes. Uh, hologram was put over again with uh, uh, O'Reilly and uh, Cassidy against uh, Mortos. Lee Moriarty and Johnny TV, who did look like himself. And yeah, just a lot of good wrestling and a lot of scary spots in there too. So, Our opener for the women's tag titles, Shayna Baszler and Natalia versus Carmella, Danielle Wallace. All right, let's see. Three-star match, champs retained. Molly Holly calls out Meachin to get that rivalry going. That's good. Chapa and Rude. One, two, that's a... That's those are some damn good mustaches in that match. Only two stars, though. Savage. He's good with the charities, right? For the women's title. We got Lita taking on Sammy Vortex. Could we get another jobber champion? Let's go, Sammy. Ah, oh, Lita got the title. I wonder if Johnny Morris is banged up from spark spiking himself on the Starship pin at ROH. He looked off through this match. That's like live. He looked weird. So. Right, level two rivalry there. Kit Wilson. Put himself over a little bit like that. And our main event, Braun Strowman and R-Truth, the U.S. champion, versus Jimmy Uso and Stardust. One, two, that's three. Let me hear the bell. Two and a half star match. All right. I think they screwed up their booking. We might have as well. We'll see here. So our opening match I originally had as our main event book last week. I just felt more confident having it as the opener. 
I'm a little worried about this match, to be perfectly honest with you, in terms of number of stars. We are going to get a boost for the fans and whatnot for it, but Ava Moreno's heading out the door. They have a level four rivalry. Let's put them in a cage. Let's face the rivalry. Let's go check it out. But yeah, in terms of, uh, in terms of collision tonight, like, it was a weird collision. It, this one always is, because there's literally one, well, two collisions. We're not going to see next week's, because... The following contest is a steel cage match, making her way to the ring from wherever she wants. Trixie Gambit. Uh, Crowd, are you going to SmackDown next Friday? My plan right now is to, because up until Monday, they do have a 30% off deal on tickets. So I'll see what the price is, and I'll go from there. But yeah, if you're looking for tickets, the uh, Ticketmaster's sale code is labor if you didn't receive it. And that's with a U, not the American way. I'll look to see if I can pick up Ava on the cheap later on. Since you got tickets day of, oh nice. Yeah, she wanted way too much money for what she wanted like 60 grand for five weeks. But the biggest news is going to come up in one of our other matches here. We got a, we got a hell of a deal on a new jobber here. But, uh, yeah, I'm... AEW, I paid 40 bucks for my ticket. I want to see if I get something similar for... Uh, for WWE here, so. If I can, I'll consider to win. If not, well, it happens. Is Trixie gonna get out already? I don't think so. Just took a look at StubHub, they have tickets. In the 200s for 45 bucks. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's why I'm thinking I might look at, uh, I'll see what Ticketmaster has, because if it's 30% off, I might even be able to get Lower Bowl for that. Unfortunately, uh, the way things are set up, I can't use the Hughes seats. And the Hughes seats they offered, I think it's Loge seating for. I, I think it's 95 bucks a ticket. I'm sorry, I ain't paying no 95 bucks to see two matches like a typical SmackDown. <laughs> Although, I will say I do think this SmackDown's gonna be a little extra loaded because Collision's running head to head with it. For some weird reason, WWE doesn't doesn't stack their cards. It, it's the last SmackDown airing on Fox in the USA. Oh, that's right. So they want to end up on a good note, or they could literally just mail it in. Cause I'm even noticing now, uh, NXT has been moved online.
Ava's gonna win it off that. No, just a one count. NXT the last couple weeks has been moved to uh, Sportsnet Plus. So, and that's all I dig on. That's all I dig in December here, right? It's all moving to Netflix. Come on, Ava. T Trixie deserves to win this. That outfit on Trixie, my goodness. So, actually, Crowder, I do have to thank you. Well, 2.9. Uh, you're always recommending that I make sure I check out my free stuff on Steam and whatnot. I actually downloaded the uh, GOG app, and I was up. I was uh, copying all my codes for all the free games I got. And uh, I actually found a new game that's uh, available there. It's going to be added into our uh, options for next Thursday. It's called uh, Wild Card Football. Apparently, it's like uh, it's a card playing game with uh, football. You can add like boosts with certain cards that you get. I know Mills was playing it on a sponsored stream once. He was having a lot of fun with it, so. Do not finish it on a small package. I thought seriously they were gonna end that on a multi-roll like that. Saw that I heard it's kind of fusion between NFL Street backyard football, yeah. But it's totally free apparently this week on uh, Geo, I think it's either GOG or Steam, one of the two. I'm actually trying out. Ava's gonna win this feud, isn't she? Don't you even dare. Oh, the Epic Game Store, okay. Hey, wait, that's the one I that's the one app I don't have loaded. I look at my taskbar right now and it's just like long. Nice power slab. I gotta worry about cleaning up my desktop here a little bit here soon. You know, everybody that's popped in, thank you for stopping by here. We're on uh, week. Oh, here we go. Going up for the last ride. And Trixie Gambit wins the feud as Ava Moreno heads out the door, as it should be. Here is your winner, Trixie Gambit. I seriously don't know what kind of star, what uh, stars I'm going to get for this. I do know I get a big boost in fans and whatnot for having this, but a three stars. Yeah. Always best to go out on your back. Absolutely. Unless your name's Stig, because you deserve better. All right. That's why I was a little worried about it. Don't put a three star at the end. Put it at the beginning. Okay, so that's complete. So I'm overloading on specialists here. So I move Becky over to Bruiser. Because right now she's, you're going to see here in a second, 
the uh, call, the call up promo. I'm gonna see if I can get that built up, so we have a pretty decent feud going forward here, going into the PLE. But our next match up here is uh, Pretty Ruthless versus Ivy. Now, Pretty Ruthless, I signed her two weeks ago. Haven't used her yet. I thought I needed more more heels. Well, I haven't had the matches to fit them, so yeah. But Ivy's always looking for a fight, so I thought, why not? Let's get, let's get a good match in here and see how this goes. You never know, we might get a rivalry out of this. Next week, we have to do Valhalla and Ruthless in a tag team. So they're going to be taking on the tag champs. See if we get a tag rivalry going. Well, I don't know. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from the Bronx, New York. Pretty Ruthless. But this is pretty insane, the fact that we managed to get two complete unknowns as our our male singles champions right now. The women's division in RGM mode has always been the uh, backbone of it. Ivy's been a good worker for us as well, so. Pretty consistent. I managed to able to, uh, I do have the, uh, shake-up card that my, my regular matches don't end up in injuries a whole lot, so. Ivy looks ready to go. But yeah, coming up in our next match up here, we're gonna have a brand, we're gonna have a brand new member of the roster debuting as well in our next matchup, and you're not gonna believe who it is. And for the price, I can't believe Pretty Ruthless is wrestling in high heels, high heel boots. Like, seriously, that's got to suck a little bit. <laughs> Just unload these. Oh, nice kick. Go stretch her out. I, I got a feel we might get a count out on one of these. So just so you know, we aren't going to be able to watch our main event because we did schedule a run-in. Just because I'm trying to... Uh, I, I'm scared that a few of our fighters are going to char charge us a little bit extra for... for what we want, so I'd like to... <laughs> nice power slam. Come on, ref! Little Nature's gotta go for a little party walk before he gets over the cover. Yeah, Ivy, I knew you were in this trouble a second that Ruthless got up there. Nice reversal by Dial there. Looks the leg. 
Like, I expect Nile to win this rather quickly. Just because Ruthless doesn't have the popularity, doesn't have the experience. And, like, I think Nile's been going almost every week right now. Next week, we're going to have a little more focus on the guys here. We will have the introduction of that tag title, that tag team of uh, the Hala Ruthless, but. Ow. Nice power bomb. Ruthless not following up though. I, I love how uh Dial gets shot at a cannon like that. And it's a fly cross body. Yeah, I think we're going to get a bad, uh... I think we're going to get a bad opener comment. Because that, uh, Moreno... That Moreno feud with, uh, Trixie there. I think that's the highest we've gotten out of him, but that's three stars. But yeah, just want to give a cheap plug out here. If uh, if you're interested, you're available at uh, midnight Eastern, 10 a.m. Mountain. Check out Love Wrestling CA on Twitch here. I don't think we're going to be on by the time they're starting here. Uh, Saturday Night Love is going to be featuring Pride and uh, T.Y. Jackson. And they're going to be showing T.Y.'s first match, which was courtesy of uh, Backbreakers, so... If you guys get a chance, check that out. Nice Dominator. She's on the ropes. Nope, never mind. Ivy just holding on right now. Well, not anymore. Well, there you go. That's how you use a resilient bar. Boo, yay! Boo! Yay! Boo! Yay! Well, no, that's not the fourth team tag that I'm in, is it? I don't think so. I thought he was in a singles first. I need to ask him, Boris, uh, me Boris emailed me uh, or messaged me this morning. He's like, can I use a video? I'm like, I don't care, use whatever you want. Just going off cage match, oh. It could be the four way. That's going to be a tap out. She's not getting out. Oh, no, never mind. Release power bomb. Okay. And Ruthless gets the upset victory here. Sure, well, I always think that's 
It's best that my matches don't see the app. Jobber's Paradise on SmackDown, absolutely. One and a half, I'm fine. It probably got disappointed because there were no stipulations and the uh, popularity just isn't there. And Crowder, you're a lot better than you give yourself credit for. I will say that right now. We might have to sit here and do a uh, Dadbot Squad stream here, just streaming your matches that I have recorded. Damn, I wanted to get that feud to level two. That's okay, we'll do a fight for that. So here's our... <laughs> Speaking of, oh God, I don't know how this showed up for me, but it did. We went to our free agents and checked it out. Post Malone is available as an active character in the game. I forgot that I didn't download my DLC when I got the game. So last week when I was fiddling around and looking at the sales, all the DLC automat it said already owned. Please download. So I downloaded everything. Post Malone came up on our uh, on our list of availables for our free agents. 7500 bucks for the rest of the year. So now I got our champion who came in for free. And now we're getting post Malone for 7500 bucks. Yeah, I think we're good. But yeah, Ilya, I just turned heel last week. I used the the change roll promo. Because I needed more heals, because MVP we traded off for Blair and Valhalla. So if I bring in Ilya, he, he almost feels like he should be a heal anyway. If I can put a heal specialist there, it works better for me. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Moscow, Russia. Weighing in at 187 pounds. Ilya Dragunov. My goal for this match is to get Ilya and Seth in a feud. If I can get Ilya and Seth in a feud, I'm golden. If Pulse Below gets in a feud with with uh, Dragunov, okay. We'll work with it, but I want to get... Watch it be Ilya Post, yeah. I, I would just say, okay, we'll deal with it. Just means I got to find somebody for Rollins then, because that's who I'm looking for here, like... One of my most popular guys on the roster cannot get a get a decent shot. And if you weren't here on Wednesday, we actually did pick up the uh the better gorilla crew. So things are running a little bit smoother in terms of production. And his opponents first from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. And if all things go well and the money flows in like it should, I'll probably pick up the uh, social media campaign for the next after Survivor Series. I want to get through Survivor Series, see what we can get from there. Because I don't want to use my, ma my uh, million dollar bag card until I have to.
Oh my. Okay. Like, don't get me wrong, I love seeing Post below, but I can't say I've listened to any of his music. But the fact that he has 10 popularity, but five mic skills. I want to see maybe if there's a way that I could get the negative popularity. But I'm sorry, 7,500 bucks for the rest of the year for a guy with five mic skills. I'll keep him on the mic for the rest of the rest of the time. I don't care. So this is our spectating main event here for uh, for this week because our main event actually we can't watch due to uh, uh, due to a run in. He did a really funny song with Ozzy Osbourne pre COVID. Okay. So just a reminder, next time I will be on Twitch is uh, is on Monday with Street Fighter 6 with the new support a streamer campaign. For every sub that you pick up, if you're already playing Street Fighter 6, you'll be able to pick up a, a bonus color for Cami. It's a Twitch purple, of course. But we'll be checking the game out once again. It is going to be a bit of a Capcom month for us. And speaking of fighting games, just want to throw this out here real quick. If you're on the Steam store at all, um, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite is on now for like six bucks on the Steam store. If you don't have it and you're a fighting game fan, I do recommend getting it. Uh, there is a basically a mod that's being created right now by one of the top uh, fighting game streamers right now, Maximilian Dude. Everybody that complained about the graphics on that game will be able to have it fixed. Along with the gameplay for the Steam version, so... And it... The uh, mod will be free, so... Post is holding his own here. Oh, I ordered that last... I think it was two weeks ago I ordered it. Second week in. Thank you for the reminder, though. SVC Chaos, the due date is tomorrow. If you want to pick that up physically through Limited Red Games. I picked it up for the PS4. Uh, that's typically where I'm going to go with most of my fighting games now. Thanks to uh, Xbox insisting on not being able to uh, put any more games on the Xbox One format. To, uh... Oh, nice. Post of the cover. That ain't gonna work. But, uh... Yeah, Xbox just will not allow Xbox One games to be created anymore. And if you notice, say these new collections are coming out for the PS4, so they're the older generation of hardware. And a boy ref. Oh, Ilya's bleeding. And I remembered to keep the blood on. Oh, he's cut bad. Pile 
Snyder. Did I hire a... Did I hire a monster? Nice elbow to the back of the head there. Watch Pulse Below be a glitch and he's gonna win every single match he's in. Pulse Below, the new tribal chief, abso freaking lootly So Vic, if you weren't here during the booking, Post Malone, Post Malone was available for 7,500 bucks for the rest of the season. When realistically, he should have been about 40. So I'm like, well, screw it. He's going to be cheap. His mic skills are five, obviously. But yeah, we're just going through a lot of craziness here. Pretty Ruthless beats uh, Ivy Nile earlier tonight. We got Tread Shaw as our world champion. Four of the five was taxes. And Ilya's just not having... Oh my god, out of nowhere! No way. I thought we are going to get Pulse Below with a victory in his debut. So many chairs in the rig. I watched the first four matches. I haven't watched Orton and Gunther yet. I thought it was okay. I'm really wondering what Cargill's going to be able to do when she actually has to, you know, put some very... When she has to put some real strings of stuff together in a match. Because it seemed like... It seemed like a lot of dimin diminishing returns with her. Like, the longer she was in the ring, the quality went down drastically. Rollins go for the buckle bomb. Yep. Okay, I like that counter. Surprised we didn't see the turn yet. I Vic, I'll be honest. I don't think they trust Jade by herself yet. I literally think they don't trust her by herself yet. So if you if you don't trust her by herself, then why do you You're not going to split that tag up, right? Ilya, get up and deal with this. Ah! That was comedy in itself. Okay, Seth, win this. Oh, Pulse breaks it up 2.99. But I keep forgetting we're not going to get a main event here tonight, so this is big. They gave Pulse that?
And he's supposed to be a face, by the way. Coming off the ropes, leapfrog. Underneath. Drop kick by Rollins. This very well could be greatest match of all time here. Dragunov gets the victory as Rollins is sitting there having a fiesta, siesta on the rig. Here is your winner, Ilya Dragunov. So Ilya's debut is a heel. I really think that, I, I honestly feel it and it's just a gut feel it. Oh. Match was a lot better than the score. We had three specialists facing each other there. So the category, like the booking was just garbage on that. I knew that coming in. It's why it was not our main event tonight. I wanted it as our semi. So. It's learning to play the game a little more. Drag it off Rollins. Dragon off Raw is just what I wanted. <laughs> good, 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 good. So we can play off that now. So we got that tag team rivalry level three. I needed to get it to a level four for level that for uh week nine team, because I think that's Clint's last week. And then this main event here, we don't uh we don't get to watch it, unfortunately, because there is a Reddit involved. JC Jade and Billy Slugger are um, at a level, level three rivalry going to a level four. Fallon Headley and Billy Slugger are the tag team champions right now. So it makes sense that JC's going to take out her aggressions out on uh, Fallon. And well, Billy's going to come in and ruin it for her. So let's see how things go. One, two, ring it. JC still wins. In a two and a half star match, which I won. I got it. I got the curve. Yes, barely. It's pretty sad when I'm cheering for a two and a half star match, but you know what? I knew it was going to be crap. This whole week was interesting to say the least. Next week, we're going to have a lot of, uh, we got a lot of spice going into that PLE. So anyway. It's time for the important part. Let's take a look at the report cards. Actually, sorry, let's get let's get the uh, match overall steals here. Ravi complete, that's good. Level one still, that sucks. Level three, so that's good. Level one, that's uh, I'm glad Sun's there. Jaded Slugger stayed a level three. That's boo. All right, good booking. Poor Finale. I love it. Lita with the two. That's a level two rivalry there. Well, the one. You know what? Let's go back here and I'll show you here. Let's let's go to the match report. I didn't put a stipulation on the match and the class matchups were horrible. So I knew that match was going to be garbage. To improve this match, to make it better for everybody. Essentially, if I want to bump it up an extra half star, so I just put a stipulation on it, right? And this one here. Literally, same thing again. It needed a match type that somebody preferred. The classes are perfect. The uh, roles are perfect. The performance is well, whatever. And this one here. The classes, because they are face face, or sorry, they're uh, they're both brawlers. It wasn't gonna work out that way. The popularity, well, I just need to get this feud out of the way. So, if I would have been able to get a title on one of them, maybe it would have helped, but not much. And then this one here, I'll be honest, I don't know why I didn't do that except for the. I think because of the running, it sort of takes down the stars. Then here, let's take a look. 
And then here, this is a level four rivalry. They had a poor finale as well. Chaya and Stratton, level one. No rivalries. No rivalries except for this one. And this, sorry, level one here. Wow. ECW, they did a good booking as well. They got a level one promo here. Garza out two weeks, that's got to suck. Larey out three weeks, that's got to suck more. This feud's been a level four forever. It should be on cooldown technically. But yeah, let's uh, let's go check out how much money we made. So this CCW first, 35,000 fans and 162,000 cash. So the thing I'm worried about for mine personally is I did spend a little bit of money on that cage match and the roll change and a lot of administrative stuff tonight. So 30,000 fans at 143 for cash. So they did not bet on the cash side, but the fan side did it horrible. Okay. Raw did a 103, 33,000. And 101. So they're down to 200,000 for cash. Rod Strow and R Truth, an incredible tag team. Okay, so that's noted, even though they gave a poor match. All right, moment of truth. 97. We only gave 28,000 fans that show. But we got a ton of money. We got so much money. We are definitely going to be spending some money next show. But we fell behind a little bit more to uh, some of the others here. So let's see what else we got for bonuses. The bad timing contracts. The last little, like, right before Mania, we're going to be giving these out at nauseam. So technically, we still are in first. ECW is 4,000 fans behind us now. 4,000. And yeah, the only advantage I have right now, and it's all going to depend on what contract, what people want for contracts coming up. We might be, we might be laughing to the bank here on this one here right away. But yeah, uh, as per tradition, and as because this game won't save on this screen, we do have to advance into the next week's booking screen. So let's see what we have to deal with going into next week. Orlando, Florida. McDougal's up already. Five weeks at 24-5. That actually might work. That actually... That does work for me. That gives you some time to build that feud up, so I think I'm going to take that. Okay, so Stax, what do you got for me? Can't wait to put on a show in front of my... Okay, so we are in Orlando. He is from Orlando. We're going to get that. Okay. Oh, God, Baron. I, I... Oh! Hey, DBS, you see the work I put in, but I know I can do more for the brand. I'm ready to run a main event match, and I know the fans will be excited for it. This would mean a lot to me in my career. What do you say? Why... Stax wants the main event. Stax wants to put a show out in front of his crew. Corbin wants a title match. They have a level three feud. Tag time. So you know what? I'm not even gonna fool around. Let's let's book this right now. I'll pick the stipulation in a second here, but let's get. Uh, 
Let's get it set up. Tag title match. Let's go crazy here. Tornado tag team title match. Our main event is booked. It's a level three fight. We should be able to get it to level four. Both guys want it. Let's see here. I want to see if there's anybody crazy. Oh. So. We're starting to get to the point right now where. Well, by the way, these are two of the. Uh, the Pat McAfee packs. At least they have a little bit of popularity to them. We might actually have to bring some of those in just because we do have the money for it. The power cards. Oh, we got some good ones here. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to have some fun here next week. This card is going to be a lot better than the ones we dealt with before here. We do need to get that budget up big time because once we start... That's the ultimate goal right now. If we could run every show in a stadium, could you imagine running SmackDown every week from a stadium? That to me would be pretty damn awesome. But I think what we're going to do next time is, uh, the next one we got to get is this one. I like to do all level fours first to then work on the level fives. So we do have the money available to do that. We just need the asset points, which are on the left-hand side of the screen. Um, but yeah, we could... Uh... Oh, I wanted to show you this here. So this is the GM challenge screen. This is basically what keeps up where we're at right now. So to get our Hall of Fame trophies, the season trophies are for winning five challenges. Um... I'm not going to get all 10 challenges. I'm sorry. There's some things in there that they want me to do that I'm just not willing to do. Um, like I want, they want 10 role changes in a season. I'm like, nope. Um, fad wise, we're almost at 4 million fads. Once we get that, we get one more trophy for that. And then uh, the revenue challenges, we have to gain all, revenue all time. So... We'll see how that goes. But yeah. But in terms of season challenges, book five shows using all match rules. Well, I tried that a couple times and we might we might try that next week and see what we can do with it. Surpass six hundred thousand the bank. And then yeah, next show we're actually gonna get this card. Is the uh Vito Chab card. Honestly, the last four, the last five weeks after Survivor Series, I would not want to be any of the other GMs because cards are coming to fly it. Yeah, so book five, five shows using all batch rules. I might be able to try and fight say with that. We have to do 10 changeovers. But yeah, we're not going to get up that money in time, so we're just going to... That's why I say we won't get all 10 challenges this season. But with that, let's bring it back up here to a chat screen. I love the fact that I can do that now. Uh, for those on Twitch, stick around. We're going to send a raid out to a friend here in just a moment. Uh, but for those on YouTube, once again, thank you. Uh, please hit the thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, hit the notification bell if you want to see everything that comes out from us. Uh, replays of this will be available on the YouTube channel every Friday and Tuesday following uh, the recording on Wednesday and Saturday after AEW Dynamite and Collision here here on twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. And, but once again, everybody, thank you for being here. Without you guys, it wouldn't be the same. And it's just fun to have everybody around here. So, But with that being said, going to send you guys along your way. And always remember... Be part of the solution. Don't be part of the problem. And we'll see you all here next time on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Take care, everybody. Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs>